and both of those are realities in our, in our lives, in our world today. And we, this, is a, this is a very common situation that we see in homes all across America and the world where dad is not in the picture. Dad's not there. Now, now he, he might be there physically, but how many of you know just because dad's at home doesn't mean he's at home? You know what I'm saying? So, so he's either in the picture physically or not, not uh, sorry, he's not in the picture physically or he's not in the picture spiritually. And, and so, so boys, what I'm telling you is that boys need their dads. They absolutely need their dads. It's essential that a boy has, a young boy has a dad in his life. And I'm going to give you some, some uh, statistics to prove how important it is that, that boys have dads in their life. How many of you have, have, have children? You have boys? Okay. I'm speaking to you. If you don't, you might someday. Uh, if not, you might have a spiritual son. If somebody you might have a boy. Boys need their dads. I'm going to show you some, some statistics about this. 63% of youth suicides are from fatherless homes. 63% over half are from fatherless homes. 85% of children that exhibit behavioral disorders come from fatherless homes. 71% of all high school dropouts come from fatherless homes. 70% of juveniles in state-operated institutions come from fatherless homes. Boys who grew up with a father absent home are more likely to have trouble establishing appropriate sex roles and gender identity than those who have dads in the home. In a study of 1,200 fourth graders, researchers observed that greater levels of aggression in boys from mother-only households than from boys in mother-father households. And young men who grow up in homes without fathers are twice as likely to end up in jail than those who come from traditional mom and dad families. Now, I'm just telling you the statistics, but there is no question that, that boys need their dads. They need to have a dad in their in their life. And if they don't, then their, their chances and they're at greater risk of a more challenging life than if they had dad at home. So so let's just say dad was around in your life. Let's say dad was dad was at home, but again, you guys know that just because dad was around doesn't mean he was around, right? Okay, so so we're talking spiritually and physically. But but when dad is not in the picture, there are physical, spiritual, emotional leadership and role model wounds that can be created. So whether you are 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, it doesn't matter. We carry, we as men can carry these wounds created by our fathers, even as young children. We carry them all the way through life. And if they don't get healed, that's what this whole workshop is really about.